fact, it's really time to turn our attention to our yards. And one of the most popular perennials in Northwest Gardens go by the name Euchras. But most of us know them as coral bells. Master Gardener Cisco Morris says they even bring the hummingbirds to our Ooh yard. Oh la la, they really what? do. You know, I never thought they would, but I made a bouquet out of uh -huh. some of these using the little teensy yeah. flowers. Hummingbirds were coming in between six of us. The oh, bouquet wow. was in the middle of the 44 inch table. Hummingbirds were coming in to the flowers. So if I want the hummingbirds in my house, I should make a bouquet. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Yeah. And Just open my the windows. Door open. Yeah. Oh dear. Come no, no, no. Guys. <laughs> I love that. And I want to talk oh. even a little bit more about hummingbirds in a minute. But um, what do you love about euchras? Also coral bells. Yeah, you know, uh, the coolest thing about euchras is that they keep their color all summer long and even all winter as a general rule, although they can get a little beat up in a winter like this one. But so, and you have all different varieties, so yeah. they're going to keep these colors. Like this one is lemon and lime, I guess uh, you called it. Or let's see, this is lime marmalade. Lime marmalade, okay. And and it gets this yellow and oh, this, beautiful. so that combination is really beautiful. This one likes shade. You don't want to okay. put that in the sun. This is dark secret. Oh, it's called nah, dark. Nah. Yeah, dark this secret. is Mary's favorite. That. She oh. loves that Mary one. Mary you know? is harboring some dark <laughs> secrets. <laughs> <laughs> Forever purple. Forever purple. Oh, it's okay. such a beauty. And these get way bigger, you know, not, you know, huge, but this will get uh, two and a half feet wide okay. and uh, two feet tall. And they start flowering. Yeah, they get these little flowers and they're, they're teensy. Okay, when so will you start to see the flowers come up then? It won't be long. Okay. Yeah, it doesn't wow. take them long. They decide to go for it, you know. And some people don't like the flowers and cut them off, but they're 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 so pretty the with hummingbirds. the coral bells, like we. Yeah. Know. And then this one right there is that a peach something? Yeah, or? peach crisp. That's a brand I've never seen this one okay. before. <laughs> Some people Pretty. might like just to eat their peach crisp, but you like to plant yours. I, and how do you do a color combination with That's this? That's beautiful. Oh, la, la. And then this one right here looks like it's kind of low and expands. Yeah, and you know what? I I actually just stuck a, uh, <laughs> a, a stump of one oh. of these in there. <laughs> and it grew. So that's all you did. That's all I did. I cut off one of these. Nothing stuck fancy, it in there. and nope. that's it. That just saved me twenty bucks right there. <laughs> so we know why you like them. But how do you care for them? Well, you said uh, this one likes shade. Yeah. So you know what? Here's the weird thing. When you read the tag, it'll say mm -hmm. like dark secret ray really likes sun, and yep. it does. But if you stick one of these in the sun, they write these tags for the whole darn country. Oh, it might good to be know. too hot. In you know if in the Pacific Northwest yeah in the well, Pacific Northwest if if it says shade it might be too shady so you might want to move it so I okay. move them around they're easy to dig out how do I know so how do I know that maybe it's getting too much shade or too much sun well, what, if, what will it do all right if it's getting too much shade it'll get kind of it just won't look good it'll okay. just not be limper. growing okay. well if it's getting too much sun you'll see it'll burn up okay. We see, don't want guy, that to happen. You plant this in the sun. See, this was sitting in the sun in my driveway. And oh, already and it's got already got a little, little bit yeah. of, of burn right there. Yeah. Okay, good to know. Now, um, where would you put the hookahs? Well, well, I like to put them in my, uh, out my perennial border because okay. I make all kinds of combinations with these colors because, you know, the flowers so are perennials. Them. They don't last right. long. So these things really add color okay. to your garden. But also in containers. In containers. Oh. And I think, oh, look at this beautiful one. Oh, yeah. So that's, that's not Is that Mary's? quite this one. <laughs> no, that's me. Okay, sorry. It looks really good. <laughs> I mean. I know, you're thinking that's too good. You're both good. master so gardeners. So. on that one. <laughs> <laughs> After she whipped me on that contest yes. on the show last year. That looks year. beautiful. Okay. And this one is that kind of a peachier color. Yeah. So I can't, I can't remember the name of that beautiful okay. hue crop, but look at how pretty that is, that is in pretty. that container. That's one of mine, too. Okay. All of these apparently <laughs> yeah, are yours. Yeah, these are all mine. And, uh, but, and that oh, has that beautiful red. I see that one. Red. Okay. Yeah. So... Oh, and, and, and this is the blooming? Yeah, this okay. one's called Paris, and it's got some of the best f flowers of any of them. 
boy, that hummingbirds oh, love that, you know. Gorgeous. Oh my gosh. So you stick that in your garden, I guarantee you're gonna see hummingbirds go into that. Wow, okay, let's talk about um, disease and pests and, and, yeah. and what happens, because you've brought some not so good looking yeah. things Yeah, right so there's two things that can okay. happen. They can get a rust, so you look under the okay. leaves and you see all kinds of little, this doesn't have it. but This if doesn't you, have it? Okay, no. but you would look under the leaves. Orange spots. And if, okay, orange spots. And if you see that, the whole thing's going to go to heck. You can cut it down, it'll grow back without the rust. Right. And if it gets it again, I have a perfect cure. Right into I'm the guessing. compost okay. bin. So basically what you're saying is you only get one. Two chances. The first Two chances, one, and then, three right, strikes, okay, three strikes you're you out. are out in, you're out in Cisco's now, garden. Okay, this, so rust is a problem. And How this does is it get a weird rust? thing. I, it's a fungus. Okay. And, and you know what? You shouldn't like get the leaves wet every time you water. Because That'll, that can lead to more that rust. That can okay, lead to more. Enough. And a lot of these are resistant. So water at the base more, yeah, than, yep. more than the over. Yep. Okay. But I'm finding now that I'm Anyone that gets rust, I get rid of it, and a lot of them never oh, get it. So basically, so. no chances. <laughs> no right. chances. Wow. I see rust now. Wow. You're out. He has a very cruel garden. Okay. <laughs> okay. Now here, sometimes this is what happens. This does not look good. So this was sticking up. This is what it looked like. So it was sticking up like this. Yeah. And I'm like, oh. this is the ugliest thing I've ever seen. Because you've got out shoots coming off this way. Yeah. Okay, so what yeah, did you do? Yeah, it's just terrible. So there's a really good cure for this. First I thing, feel like when you put your gloves on, it's not going to be that great for the plant. So uh, get out there with your pruners and cut it off one-eighth inch from the ground. Okay, one-eighth inch, You'll be inch, sure you much. just okay. murdered your heuchera. I put a little uh, all-purpose organic okay. fertilizer around it, keep it moist. It'll grow back and look like this in about three weeks or really? a month. Really? Yep. Yep. That same season. Yep. And okay. Mary discovered this. Okay. She saw me throwing these in the compost yeah. pile. She <laughs> took them and pulled off all the dead leaves and everything, stuck it in the ground right up to the top. So she took all this off? or No, just... no, she left that on. Okay. Just took all this ugly stuff off, stuck them into the ground right up so only this is sticking out of okay, the ground. Okay, so right up to here. And I saw it and I said, that's not going to root. No hmm. way. She goes, you want to bet a good bottle of French wine? She loved that wine. <laughs> <laughs> oh, la, la. You lose to Mary every time. I know. How does that every happen? Every time. And then the hummingbirds, they're going to come when the blooms come. That's right. Okay. That's right. So if it's in a container in the ground, you can count on these okay. helping hummingbirds. I never thought they would because the flowers are so little, but they don't yeah. care. I love that, especially if you live in an apartment, you don't have a lot of space, you plant a euchre in a container and oh, then yeah. and the hummingbirds will come. Oh yeah, too great. I love it. You and the hummingbirds. Thank you so much. <laughs>